hosted by someone. It's a pretty common uh, modern term for when somebody just decides they don't want to be friends with you anymore and they just uh, stop talking to you and they kind of disappear. So in this digital age, ghosting means, you know, they, they block you on Facebook and they don't respond to your texts or to your emails or to um, uh, your phone calls or anything like that. And there's no explanation, they just kind of disappear. <clears throat> and it's a fairly unsettling experience. I had it happen to me when I was in, uh, after college, twice, um, one of my best friends ghosted me. Uh, and, you know, finally she said something to me about, you know, she thought we were in, that I was in competition with her or something, um, which wasn't really true as far as I can tell. But it happened to me recently. I had somebody that I know, I haven't been friends with her that long, but um, I did consider her a friend and I liked her and we had about two months or two and a half months, something like that, where we weren't in contact. And um, I got busy, we had contractors here, it doesn't really matter, I, I was busy and she had been busy. She had been telling me, you know, I kept reaching out and asking if she wanted to get together and she was always busy. So maybe that was the beginning of the issue. But anyway, I reached out to her yesterday and got a very short, basically take care of yourself, I'll take care of me type response. <laughs> and it was obvious that she wanted nothing to do with me and I couldn't figure out why. And I asked and she wouldn't tell me. And then I proceeded to do what most of us probably would do, maybe not everyone, but to try to figure it out. Like I searched all through Facebook to see if there was something I'd said. I searched through our text streams. I searched through next door. Um, I, I racked my brain for anything that might have happened where she might have um, misinterpreted what I said or did, um, or where I might have inadvertently hurt or offended her. And I couldn't find anything and she refused to tell me. And so this was hours and hours of me being focused on this person who refused to communicate with me and um, had maybe not technically ghosted me, but you know, who had disowned me as a friend. And um, I remember one of my very, very good friends had been friends with someone for 10 years and they did this to them. You know, they just stopped talking to them. And uh, I, I reached out, in the end, I reached out to some friends who basically came back to me and said, she's the one who is missing out. You know, it's her loss. Um, another one pointed out to me, you know, and they all appreciated me. And, you know, we would always come to you and tell you if, you know, you had done something to offend us or to hurt us, we would come and talk to you. And um, because that was sort of my thing is like, I hope you would all tell me because I know that I can... I can sometimes speak out of turn. I don't know if that's the right phrase, but I, I can, I, I'm outspoken. And sometimes I say things that are misinterpreted um, and or my behaviors are misinterpreted, but we all do that. We all do that. So they all reassured me that they would always tell me that, you know, that they would communicate with me and they would clear. I always call it clearing, right? Clearing the air, clearing the relationship. And uh, that made me feel a lot better. And then Another friend said, you know, said, you know, Nina, it's all, you know, it's all happening for you. Just know that, you know, your vibration is raising and people drop away and just stop focusing on that and, and realize that it's everything's happening for you, which I believe 100%. <clears throat> and that was a helpful reminder. And then I started talking to my husband about it and I realized that I don't, want to be friends with people who aren't willing to work on the relationship, like aren't willing to communicate. And if I've done something to offend them or to hurt them or whatever, to, or they've heard something secondhand or whatever it is, that I, I, want, I want to be with people who will come and communicate with me 
and try to work on the relationship. I mean, that's what it takes for a marriage. My marriage was failing because we weren't doing that. Once we started communicating, things got better. And, and so communication is everything in relationships, everything. You have to be committed to making, making it work and to at least sharing when you're hurt or when you're angry or upset about something and um, letting the other person know. And so it just reminded me that I don't want to, you know, I, I want to be in relationships where people are communicating. So why am I telling you all of this today? Because there's a high likelihood that at some point in your life, somebody has ghosted you or somebody has disowned you as a friend or family member because of who you are or something you said or something you did. And, and when we start, when that happens, we start questioning ourselves. Am I, you know, did I do something wrong? Did I, you know, am I, am I, oh, somebody said to me today, one of my, my clients, my members on the Inspired Creator community said that somebody had done this to her and told her she was too much. It's like, we don't want to question, am I too much? I'm, I'm enough. I'm more than enough. I am awesome, right? Being too much is a good thing. So we question ourselves and we start trying to look at how we can conform in order to have people like us because we have an inherent need to be liked and loved and accepted, right? But we also need to be ourselves. And if other people can't, um, you know, don't, don't like who we are, then they're not the right people for us. They're not our people. And for me, communication is so important that, you know, I want to be with people who will communicate with me. And so again, you, you, you want, that's our tendency is to question ourselves. And one of the things I want you to take away from this personal story is that it's, it's important when something like this happens, when somebody ghosts you or unfriends you or whatever it is, disowns you, stop and ask yourself if you did something wrong. Yes, do some soul searching. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something to offend them or to hurt them? And do I need to improve or change or say I'm sorry or whatever? But then if you can't find anything, and you're fine, and you can even check in with your friends like I did, and you're fine, then accept yourself. Accept yourself for who you are and be your authentic self, your whole self, right? The other thing I want you to take away from this is that you, <laughs> it's a waste of your time and energy to try and make somebody tell you something they don't want to tell you or to figure out why they have ghosted you or disowned you or whatever. It's, if that's their decision and you can't figure out why and you've really done some soul searching and you think, you know, there's nothing wrong with me and I can't think of anything I did and they won't talk to me, then let it go. Let it go. And that was something else somebody said to me yesterday. Just let it go. She didn't want to tell you. Just let it go. And so I did. And the last thing was from a friend of mine who's an energy worker and she said, cut your psychic cords with her. Just clear your energy and um, be done with it. And so that's what I did. I, I got some, um, I do have sage over here on the table, but it was late. And so I just took, I have a spray bottle of sage. So kind of like smudging in the Native American um, tradition. I just got the sage bottle and I sprayed myself and I said, I cut all psychic cords to this person. Um, I release their energy from my field, my energy field, and I take my energy back from theirs. And I now, um, it, you know, their energy is no longer welcome in my, in my auric field, in my energy field, right? And I sprayed the sage a whole bunch of times and then I went and I did it a second time with some lavender spray and um, I felt lighter and done. And the only reason that I'm doing this video is because I want to save all of you from the same energy suck of this and focus suck. I just, you know, again, take a look at yourself. Something happens like this, really do the soul searching to ask yourself whether or not there's something you've done or said that would have hurt or offended this person. If you can't figure it out and they won't tell you, then 
let it go. Stop criticizing yourself or judging yourself or trying to figure out how you can change or be different to get people's love and acceptance and approval. Just be you, 100% you and be okay with you and let the situation go, let the person go. They don't wanna be with you. So just let them go. Stop spending time and energy trying to figure it out at that point and clear yourself of their energy. Take your energy back from them and, and do whatever you need to do. Take an Epsom salts bath or smudge with sage or whatever it is and clear your energy field and then let it go and be done with it. If they want to come back, they'll come back. But, you know, it's kind of like when you're in, you know, in, in high school or college and you want someone to like you and ask you out or whatever and they don't want to and you keep just obsessing over it and it doesn't change how they feel, you can't make them like you. You can't make someone forgive you. You can just be the best version of you you can be and be yourself. And being the best version of yourself and being yourself doesn't mean that you don't do the soul searching, the questioning. Is there something that I can figure out that I did, that I could apologize for, right? I apologized anyway. I don't know what I did, but I'm sorry. But then move on. Just, you know, and accept yourself. Accept and love yourself and then move on, okay? Don't give yourself the heartache and the, um, and don't give all your energy away to it. I wish I had cut myself off after an hour, right? I was sad. Allow yourself to feel sad. I was sad. I liked this person. And I'm sorry not to be her friend, but I, I can't make her want to be friends with me. So that's my advice to you. Do a little soul searching, then either say you're sorry or whatever you can do if the person will even talk to you, then accept yourself the way you are, unless there's something you do need to tweak and change, then of course do that. But be okay with who you are, clear your energy and just let it go, okay? I just felt like, you know, this was something big for me yesterday and I got so much great input from other people, I wanted to share it with you. And I thought it would be a worthwhile video and blog post topic. So there you have it. I'm always wanting to share what I'm going through because I'm just like you. I'm just, I always say I'm an every woman and the things that work for me or that I learn might work for you or be a jumping off place for, to find something that works for you. Um, or you might learn something or take something away that if it doesn't impact you right now, maybe it will later on. Although I hope you're never ghosted by someone that nobody, nobody disowns you because you're amazing. You're amazing and unique. There's a poster on my wall, very old Louise Hay poster. It says, you are great. There is no one else like you on the planet. There never has been and never will be. You are forever a unique divine creation. And you are. And the people who don't appreciate you why are you trying to get them to stay in your life, right? Okay, I've said enough for today. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am an intuitive transformational catalyst. I offer transformational coaching, which is a combination of personal and spiritual growth to help you step into being the best, well, I would say the person you know you can be and want to be. Uh, step into to being the person who can do the things that help you create what you want in your life. I'm also a certified high performance coach and you can get both the transformational coaching, which I call inspired results coaching and, and certified high performance coaching in my inspired creator community. The link is above. So consider joining the inspired creator community where you can be in an amazing family of people who are all trying to live lives that feed their souls by changing from the inside out because when you change on the inside, everything on the outside changes too. So if you're interested, click on the link above. Otherwise, just go to my site, ninaamir.com and reach out if I can help you with one-on-one -on -one coaching or in some other way. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it and share it with others. And if you're on my website looking at my blog, please leave a comment there, if not here on YouTube. 
and share with somebody who might benefit from this video. Thanks so much. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Thank you.